started making boards in my garage with my parents. I set up a shaping room in there, and then they got to the point to where we were making too many boards. My parents' bedroom and bathroom was right next to the garage, so all the resin fumes just soaked right into their bedroom. And they got to the point where they're like, "You need to get a, you need to get a factory." What I did is I got another factory. That's when we started getting a lot of orders. We're like, we got to move out of here. And then uh, started shopping around for a bigger place. That's where we're at now in, in our new one. That's kind of like two parts of my company. One part is making my own label. And then the other part is working with other shapers. And so kind of like created this shaping community of people that just giving each other feedback. Just recently in the past two years, I bought a boat for our team riders to go to the islands. I ended up meeting a lot of people in the boat industry. From there, I've been having people bring their boats to the back of the factory and uh, just been helping them out with doing fiberglass work on it since it's so similar to glass and surfboards. We just bought a house, so we've been working on that a bunch, fixing it up and trying to get it nice, and so that's keeping us really busy. When I first started making boards, I knew that it's what I wanted to do for a career. It's just one of those things that it's like, it's kind of an art. You don't really think of it as an art when you do it, but it's just something that makes you happy when you do it. Mm -hmm. 